last piece of flash before a poem, and then I'll end it so we can get to other people. Uh, a citadel made of human bones. You stood at the base of the stairs holding out a pair of jeans, offering them to me. You might fit into these, they're too small for me now. I took the denim from your callous, freckled hand and looked at the digits. Pink skin with dirty, long, calcium-rich fingernails. I thought about how all the parts of you, solid and dense, soft and stiff at the same time, were luminous. How every fragment of your body was stifled with fine, russet hairs that I wanted to spend my lifetime counting. How that counting was a glorious possibility. I pressed the jeans to my cheek. They were too small for me, too. Later in bed, our bodies touched side by side. With every rise and fall from your exhalations, while we listened to the rain stick sound of hail on the roof, I thought about building monuments on you with my tongue and teeth, and I purred emotions on the nape of your neck with the bend of my nose. You pet my head and you said, you're a good girl. I am a good girl. Throughout the remainder of the month, I'd open my drawer and see the faded, too small for me, two jeans, and think about how you wore them during previous pre-me years. I'd run my fingers over the grain of the fabric, wondering what was rooted in the fibers, your history, all the mystery of that. I wanted to take your past in my mouth, chew on it and digest it and grow from it. I yearned to burrow in the twill of your old clothes, becoming indistinguishable from the diagonal parallel ribs. When you left, I started to drop pound after pound and I wondered what parts of me I was losing with this weight. Did they all carry memories? Meals we ate together, long shadowed afternoons on a couch, dying on our phones together. I grabbed the extra portions of my flesh and asked the meat to stay in its place, keeping you alive through corporeality. But my body has never obeyed me. So instead, I put on the jeans and wore the recollections like a pelt. Stained with grease from some moment in your past that I will never know, I hitched up the loose waistline from the belt loop. Did you used to do that too? I wore the jeans until my own history started to accumulate in the ribbing. Two months later, in the clamor of your home hub, I went to pick up the debris of a life once lived together, watched you cry, felt nothing while your face creased. My hips cocked like Billy the Kid, dipped at one side with the jeans slouching down, I was a snake slipping out of its skin. The scales of your pants wilting off my body exposed the flesh underneath it inch by inch. When you pulled me to you by those belt loops, I saw the friendly faces of each tiny hair that I had spent time identifying. We stacked our bodies apart, one on top of the other, made a citadel of human bones. You pulled me out of the jeans you gave me, an article of clothing you said you wore when you were at your most fuckable. Well, what am I if, if I'm the one that wears them now? I told myself that it's revenge sex, but was I getting revenge on anyone if I end up getting hurt too? And by hurt, I mean that I'm a good girl that feels everything intensely, but I didn't, and I still don't know a word or feeling that means sad, but absolutely relieved at the same time. I am a good girl that left your house that day with your jeans and my rubble and the pebbles of your voice in my head, our shared sweat on my arms like a hide, and I couldn't wait to go home and mortar the past of you off my skin. Okay, so let's end up with the poem, right? Yeah? Okay. Uh,